Hi, this is a follow-up review on the Lenovo Mix 2 8-inch Windows tablet. I have three of these tablets. I have used them for varying lengths of time. I've had all of these tablets in excess of one year now, so I feel like I can give a uh, I feel like I can give a reliable review on the performance and uh, usability of this Lenovo tablet. Okay. The first thing that I would like to comment about is the construction. I did not feel that this tablet uh, has a good construction. It scratched a lot on the underside. Um, this covering was more resilient, but I... Um, there's lots of scuffs. Um, the the uh, button to switch it on and off, it's almost like it's collapsed inside there. The place to put the SIM card, it's literally, you, you literally need a dental pick to grab the SIM card out of that hole, that uh, insertion slot. The data card, well that's a little bit better. So in terms of just the peripherals here, the outside of the unit, that's what I'm cover talking about. Um, the lens here, okay, that's not Lenovo's fault that it gets um, uh, oily, you know, from hand prints and that. It's just that because it's it's so small, it's actually quite hard to get something in there to clean it. Um, the screen, I didn't have a problem with the, the glass. It seems to be quite resilient, although my other ones the one here has some deep scratches in, but a child did use this for a year, so I can't blame Lenovo for that. Now, the touch screen. On two out of three of these tablets, the touch screen kept freezing up. I had to do little fixes. So I looked on Lenovo's site for um, solutions to this. Lenovo was seemingly not very helpful with solving the touch screen that would freeze. And right now it has frozen. That's my first problem with this device. It's almost like unusable out of the box. Right, in terms of... Yeah, see, there we go. Touch screen stuck. So now I'll have to do a little repair on this one now as well. In terms of the software, well that's Windows. This tablet is running Windows 10. I'll just demonstrate that quickly. Right, this is Windows 10 running on the Lenovo Mix 2. You can see there, there's the uh, start menu. If you want all the apps, it's here on the side. Uh, it, uh, the usability with Windows 10 is fine. Um, I have no problems. I, I'm quite happy with Windows 10. Initially, there were some teething pains. Um, other than that, this tablet is mainly used for games. I have used this tablet as a working device. I find it uh, very unreliable. But for games, it's still a bit of a headache. Every now and then, uh, my child is are saying to me, tablet stuck, tablet stuck. Now, I cannot confirm 100% if that is the tablet or the game. So, at least twice a day, I'm pressing the power button and pressing and holding it for 10 seconds to f almost force the tablet to switch off because it won't switch off. Now, I do have another tablet uh, running Windows 10 and I do not have those problems. So, would I recommend this tablet? No. Another problem, it seems to be a hardware problem, is the camera. After using the tablet for, tablet for some time, when you press the camera button, there it works. Now, when you use the camera for a bit of time, this screen is just black. It's like the, the, the camera um, chip just does not respond anymore. So, that's another problem, is that if you suddenly want to take a picture and you've had the tablet on for half an hour, the camera doesn't work. You have to literally restart the tablet every time you want to use the camera. The 3G, the 3G works perfectly. This is the 3G version. I have no complaints on the 3G aspects of this tablet. The, the performance of this tablet, I can say it is fair uh, in terms of how fast it responds, boots, uh, launches apps. I uh, actually am quite satisfied with the performance. This is like a 
fast, unreliable car. The performance is good, but it's very inconsistent. So I would not really recommend this tablet. In fact, I would actually, it's actually made me question Lenovo as a brand completely. Because yeah, I have three Lenovo tablets. One is now completely faulty, it's unusable. And two had a touch screen failure um, right out of the box. So that, that is three out of three with errors. So that, that for me is, is, <laughs> is quite bad. Alright, so in terms of Windows 10, Windows 10 works great on this app. You can take it from the tablet mode or you can put it in the desktop mode. So here we've got, we're going out of the tablet mode. We're now in the desktop mode. There's your folders like a normal computer. Um, that brings me to the end of this review. Uh, this, these tablets uh, are now one year old and they look one year old. There's nothing on this tablet that has, shows any signs that it's going to last more than another year. So that's, signs, so that's me signing off saying I don't recommend this tablet, the Lenovo Mix uh, 2 8-inch and I won't be buying another Lenovo tablet anytime soon.